Hey guys, this is Delta 6 with DSS. Today we're going to be talking about how to start your own security company right after this. To start your own security company, at least in Florida, I know states vary um, with minor details and things that you have to complete, um, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's just a lot of paperwork and waiting. Um, so most of you guys want to start your own security company because you've been in security for a while, and that's a good thing. Um, it makes it easy for you guys to get your manager's license, which is one of the things that you need to do which we'll get into shortly. The first thing that you want to do is figure out your business name. Uh, the business name is going to make your business grow. It's gonna, you know, create your, you know, logo, your design. All those things is gonna create your business. And you really wanna think hard about what you're gonna name your business or what logos you're gonna have, what patches you're gonna have or uniforms get all that stuff out of the way first well, that's the most important step um, choosing a business name that's not similar to others is important um, you definitely want to stand out and create your own company um, that's gonna make you stand out from the rest of all the other companies so for instance our company is Delta Security Solutions um, there's a couple um, Delta Security you know, like other names so don't get us wrong when we say don't copy other people um, Delta security for us is more of like a military thing um, me and my partner both came from the military and you know we just started going through names over the phone one day and that one came up and we both were like you know what let's let's do this one so if you do have a partner make sure you're both on the same page every step of the way that's going to be important as well. Uh, once you have your business name and your all your ideas down and you know figured out, then the next step would be to go and register on irs.gov. Um, it's very simple. It's free for that. So you register your business name, and in registering that business name. Um, you get your tax ID, which is an EIN number, which is your business's social security number. Now you can do this before or after you create your business on SunBiz for people who are in Florida. Um, SunBiz, I think also um, can help you out in other states as well. And what that is, is just getting associated with your state um, as far as publication goes. So my recommendation would be to go to SunBiz first, actually, before you go to IRS, because there is a spot on the IRS that requests, um, you know, your business information that SunBiz will give to you once you register your business. I do know that SunBiz you do have to pay for. I don't believe it's very expensive at all. Um, so I think it's like around $100, $200 at most for that. And once you register your business name, you put all your, your business address, information, and so forth on there, uh, you'll get all that information usually in the mail within a few weeks. Um, I think you also get some emails too for some biz. And once you get that information, you would then go to irs.gov, register your business, and they will provide that EIN number. Um, that EIN number is going to be what you use for your taxes, for pretty much everything. If you need loans or whatever the case may be, that's going to be what you would use. Um, so it's, you know, like I said, a social security for the business as an entity, much like a person, but not so much. Um, same concept, just it's under a business name versus your name. Um, the next step would be um to get a manager's license um, application filled out and your agency application filled out um, those two things um, your agency would be a b license for business 
and your M license as a manager. So in Florida, you can get that with two years of experience in security or law enforcement, anything of that nature. Um, you can just fill out that application and put, you know, you have two years experience. And if you've had a D or a G or both licenses, you'll be able to um, fill out that and get your manager's license. That's good because you have to have it. If you don't have the two years experience, you have to find someone who does have that two years experience you can trust to actually go into business with you. Um, the agency license would be your next step, which is a B license. You have to put your manager's license number, which um, I believe if you don't have it right away, I think you can get away with using your D or G license. They just want to know that they can look it up and see that you've had your IDs for two years and you've had that experience. And after that, um, you just wait for your information to come in. So once your your manager's license and your agency license comes in the mail, um, you would then go to the next step of the agency, I guess, process, business process for your licensing. So they'll say, um, send your letter, you've been approved, and we now need to have uh, your information for business insurance, and it must um, be a minimum of X amount of thousands of dollars and cover these things. And once you have that business insurance uh, information, you would then um, send it over to Department of Agriculture, and they would be, um, usually it takes about a month or so, Sometimes sooner, sometimes a little bit later, depending on how busy they are, and if you know COVID gets in the way again. Um, once they get that information, they will then issue your agency business uh, certificate and license number. And after that, you guys are 100% legal to go out there and start getting your first contracts. Now, I did make a video about struggles when it comes to getting contracts and how the security industry especially here in Florida at least, the big companies can afford to lowball their contracts to where the small companies can't actually afford to get those contracts or outbid the bigger companies because they're just ridiculously low prices. Um, so if y'all guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check that out. Um, other than that, uh, we'll get into more and in other videos when it comes to uniforms, patrol vehicles, and you know ideas that y'all guys might want to have uh, gear things of that nature we'll be making a lot more videos so if this is your first time please hit that like button if you like this video and information and if you guys want to see more videos content what gear that we're actually wearing vest uniforms you know how we went about designing or figuring that out uh, hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get our notifications every time we upload a video other than that guys it was good to see you guys again and watching this video and we appreciate everything y'all guys do and coming to our channel and supporting us and until next time be safe